Your next technical interview may consist of either a whiteboarding question or a coding question. To best prepare for your next interview, make sure to practice lead code questions like this one. Hey everyone, it's Kalen from Kite, the AI powered coding assistant. Today we're going to solve the two sum lead code question in Python. Lead code is a website that has many interview questions that are often asked in coding interviews at top tech companies. So in this video, we'll go over the two sum lead code questions so you can ace your next interview. Two sum is a very popular interview question and top tech companies like Facebook and Amazon ask similar questions. Given an array of integers, two sum asks to return the indices of the two numbers such that they add up to a specific target value. So let's look at an example now. For the array 1, 3, 5, 6 and target value of 8, a two sum algorithm will return 1 and 2 because the item at index 1, which is 3, plus the item at index 2, which is 5, equals the target value, which is 8. On the other hand, for the array 4, 7, 2, 6 and a target value of 12, a two sum algorithm will return nothing because no two elements in the array will sum exactly to 12. To solve this problem, we can iterate through our array and use a dictionary to keep track of the values that we want to see. In particular, for an element x in our array and a target value, we want to see if there is another element in the array that has the value of target minus x, which is called its complement. We can use a dictionary to keep track of the values and indices of values we have seen so far. Specifically, we want to map the value of an element to the corresponding index position. For each element in our list, we first want to compute the complement of this element. The complement is equal to the target value minus the element, which is the difference between the element and the target value. So, we check if the complement of an element is in our dictionary. If it is, we can return the current index of the element and the value of the complement in the array to get the indices of the two elements that sum up to the target. If the complement is not in the dictionary, we map the current element to the index it occurred in and continue. After iterating through the array, if no two elements sum to the target value, we must return an empty list. A tip when approaching leak code questions is using a dictionary to map something that you are looking for to a value that is part of your final answer. Let's create a function to sum that takes an array and a target value and returns two indices that sum up to the value and negative one if no two indices exist. Let's use Python's dictionary to map the complement of a value to the index it corresponds to. We can use a for loop and the built-in enumerate function to iterate over all the indices and elements in our array. For each element, we'll compute the complement of the value. After computing the complement, we'll check to see whether the complement is already a key in our dictionary. If it is, we have found two elements that sum up to the target value. So we return a list with the current index and the value of the complement in the dictionary. This signifies its index position in the original array. If the complement is not in our array, we continue on to the next element. At the end of the iteration, if we have not returned anything, this means that there are no two indices that sum up to the target value, so we return an empty list. Let's run our code on our example arrays from before to verify that we have solved the two-sum leak code question correctly. When we run our code on the first inputs, we expect to see the array 1, 2, and when we run the code on the second input, we expect to see an empty array. Great, looks like it works. Nice work, now you can solve the two sum algorithm problem. I hope you're feeling more prepared for your next interview. Make sure to keep practicing questions like this one we did today. An easy way to do that is to subscribe to our channel and hit that bell. We'll have more code interview tips and problem solutions coming your way soon. Finally, don't forget to check out the Kite AI Autocomplete plugin to code faster and smarter. The link's in the description below. We'll see you at the next interview prep.